Hey, welcome. Come on in. We have our second soap today from Denton Magique. <laughs> it's a Halloween morning with the barbershop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays, we are the Barbershop Duet. Hey, welcome. We're yes. so glad you came back. Come on in. Have a seat. So at the top of the show, we do mentions. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sarah, if you have not been, of course, following our adventures, <laughs> uh, she had a stint put in her heart mm -hmm. last week and scared the hell out of me and yeah, everybody else. Yeah, surprise. And herself. Mm -hmm. And we're so glad yes. that she's Happy home. to be back and feeling much, much better. So <laughs> safe. If you had to guess which one of us found the other unconscious on the floor. Or you'd be wrong. Uh, <laughs> so a few of the artists have reached out, the artisans, and, and sent little care packages. Yeah, and so, we're so, so sweet. We're so grateful. Douglas and friends and something, and, and Melody and Zach at Moose Soaps. Soaps, yes. And so do you want to tell everybody what this is? Because this is kind of cool. First I'm going to show, because it's just so darn beautiful. Yeah. Well, this is a prototype. This is not quite available yet. But it has fun iridescent yes. colors. This is an upcoming moon yes. soap. Yes. And it's, it's called, what is it? Sandman. Sandman. And wait till you hear the set notes. It's lavender. Yep, yeah, wait. And marshmallow. 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 Mm -hmm. Who are you, Melody? We've been, That's it's, awesome. It's too special to use yet. We haven't. Yeah. We haven't and when we it smelled open. it, we were like, "What is that?" And then it, Sarah looked at the card, and it said marshmallow. Mm -hmm. it? Wow. But it's so comforting, like a perfect like evening. I need to hop in bed, but yeah. it smell nice. Yeah, I'm very excited. To so she it. sent us this and a, and a body butter for free, and we're so grateful. Thank you. Yes, Zach thank you, and Melody. Melody. Really, when you've been in the hospital for five days, you just all the cozy things smell mean better. so That's much more. Yes. All you want to do. Is. <laughs> well, we're so excited because. Because today uh, is the coming together of a couple of mm -hmm. wonderful parts of my world. True. Barber Shop Sense and old television situation comedies. That's Marcus all together. This is where Marcus meets Marcus. <laughs> yes. So we're so excited. And I think there's something about every red-blooded American male except for Sloppy Badger who <laughs> loves Barbershop Sense. Yeah. Uh, so I'm so excited and today. We're and we're so grateful because it was actually sent to us. Yes. They reached out on, on Instagram and, and and they offered to send us this Right. They wanted to make sure we free. had it and we said no. And they're like, we're no, no, no. So you grateful. need... Yeah. yeah. And it's so cool with Denton Magique. And here's why. I'm going to say this now. They have chosen to do a smaller soap offering than, than most artisans right. and the price also reflects that. So if you're like us and you've got soap acquisition disorder and you've got 50 soaps Dramatics. in your cabinet and you're not going to use them in the next year, it might be cool to collect the smaller size True. soap because we don't mention price here in the barbershop duet, but the Denton Magique, the smaller soaps are $11. Mm -hmm. The splashes are about comparable. And so that way, if you don't, if you want more of a variety of right. smells, but you don't want giant soaps that are in your, your cabinet because it's just you, <laughs> this is a great way to do it, it really is to is. collect the smaller soaps. Yes. So. Are you excited? I mean, oh, meet the soap? let's meet the soap. <laughs> So I know guys love barbershops, but I think we love them even more when we know the barbershop. Uh. Because there were a series of series of Andy Griffith shows. There was Andy Mayberry, there was the Andy Griffith show, there was uh, Mayberry RFD. And on those shows was Floyd's Barbershop. It was an oh, actual barbershop. Okay. They would film stuff in right, and they would have right, scenes right. in the barbershop. How so cool. I'm so excited. Do you want to read the little yes. sales page here? What's All right. Up? Take a walk back in time to a slower pace of life with friendlier and simpler times. Yeah. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Hanging out, there you go, at Floyd's Barbershop, yep. shooting the breeze with Andy, Barney, Gomer, and little Opie, too. It's always a good day in Mayberry. The tiny little Ron Howard running around. And what I love is that this show, this series of shows, was sort of as American life was getting a little too modern, mm. a little too crazy every night on the news. I mean, yeah. it was just getting bananas. So when this show came along, it was all about... Going fishing with your paw and waiting right. for Aunt Calming B's down pie to cool on the windowsill. You know, it was just so that. So really is the friendlier, simpler yeah, times. Yeah, the down home little town that we all kind of wish we were from, you know. So I just love that they decided to take that calming and use that for the barbershop. And, yeah. so. and this is an homage, I hope I say this right, to YSL Rive Gauch. Gosh, I'm it. sure I said that wrong. Thirsty, you're probably watching. How do you, how do you pronounce that? Anyway, uh, we're really excited to try yes, this. Let's, let's open our box. box. All right. 
So we have uh, opened one from Denton Magique before. Right, but we got it from the wet shaving store. It was an exclusive. It was yes. dork. And it's very much before. more of like a character. So this thing. is our first box from oh, Denton oh, Magique. And, oh. they, oh, and they send us a note! Oh, <laughs> they just warm our hearts here at the barbershop duet. Oh. What does it wait, say? Wait. Please hold. Hello, thank you so much for trying out Mayberry Man. Hope you like it. The ultimate barbershop scent. Aw, thank you. Wow, that's Yay! so kind of you. Sent us this for free. And the whole set, I think. There's even a soap yes. and a splash let's, in here. Let's get they, digging here, Rainbow. Hold on. Mentioned. Okay, let's see. something's oh, wrapped. Oh, we got brown confetti. Oh, packaged and wrapped. Whoa, we need to meet our scissors here. Let's hold. Here. Oh, I think I can just manhandle okay, this. Okay, good. Let's, let's I'll see. keep digging. You handle that. Oh, there it is. Look, Floyd the Barber is on the label. Really? Oh, I love that. It's in a little Ziploc bag because, you know, aftershave is getting a little bit crazy. Hey, look at that. It's Floyd. I love <laughs> it. And Andy, it's Andy Griffith. How that is cool. so cool. Wow. Okay. There she is. There we go. And it's look all black and white like the TV show. It is. I love that. Look at the label. It's so cool. I love this size. It feels good in it your does. hands. What's it say underneath? That must be the Oh, it's number. the match number. Yeah, all right. Wow. Oh, and it feels hefty in your hand. I know yeah, it's, it's glass, I think. I love the still glass very jar. Sturdy. There's just mm -hmm. something luxurious about it. Oh, oh it's boy. your turn Is for it? our first impression. Okay, right. you go first. Okay, I'm not sure what to expect I'm here, excited. people. excited. Wow, <laughs> that is a hefty pour. Wow, all the way to the edge. Yeah? It's 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 a different barbershop. Yeah? I mean, I can tell it's in the same family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you, do you want to cover it? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say too much. Okay. It's, it's very, yeah. Mm, nothing. You go. Here we go. Oh. It's very light. Yes, but it like refreshing. It yeah. has a, a, not a citrus something, maybe? I don't know. Something oh. at the end is a little brighter. You know, sometimes yeah. the barbershops are a little more florally. This one has like a little something Whoa. else to it. Yeah, indeed. Oh, let's make a lather. Yes, yes, yes. I need to smell here. this you a might be little, able to little scrape bit deeper. There you go. You take that there. Do you have the bowl? This is our uh, custom bowl we bought from Monica at Vanule. It is a honeycomb resin bowl, and it is more or less and indestructible. We had to go with the barbershop theme, because clearly... Yeah, we asked her if she would... Wouldn't mind making us a three-color bowl, and she's an absolutely. And then, so since sweet. today is a barbershop scent, you know, oh. we had to add the barbershop. Oh, oh, oh it's yeah, nice. Hey, do you want to smell this yet, or wait? I, I do. Oh, wow! See, now I've got it. Oh, it's lovely. You know, there's not a whole lot of surface area, right. so I wasn't really, you know, getting yeah, with a the huge normal big tub hit yeah. off the top. But y'all, this has a lovely intensity. There's something in it and oh, I can't figure it out. Oh, now I've got it's it. Look. Familiar? What? What is? Oh, it's nice. What it's a little that? bit drier. It's maybe, not like maybe. a sweet talky barbershop. It's what, different. Yeah, you hold that. Okay, I'm gonna I'll, take I'll a keep little bit of this. You do a little bit of that. Oh, Denton Mashik, what have you done, folks? <laughs> it's, I don't know what that smell is, and it's bugging me. I definitely have smelt it before, oh. but I can't. Is it amberish? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's lovely. It's like a resin. It's an amber. Absolutely, right? so that's what I'm different. getting. Oh, it's just, it's a clean, but it's not done with sweet. Right. Yeah. Woo! And it's not, um, it's, it's, it's woodsy maybe, but it's not. Yeah. Oh, how At did you do? At first I almost think, thought it was more citrus because of how clean it is. Yeah, and I don't get citrus either. But now it's gone. Yo, how did you get this clean without citrus and without talc and without those normal things or without floral, really? No, here, see if you can... Wow. We still might oh, just have to cave and look This at... is different stuff, y'all. Let's take a journey into the unknown. Let's look at these scent notes. Okay, so this is this is different than anything oh, we've got in our shipping There's three cabinet. tiers. Oh, this there is are, a thing. And there are top notes, middle notes, and base I, I notes. I forgot it is technically an homage, right? It is an homage, yes, so, absolutely. Okay. But we we know nothing about colognes and perfumes, so yeah, no. you might as well tell us that it's the yellow brick road. <laughs> uh, so okay, let's see. Here top is here notes. are the set notes. All right. Oh, see, this is why this is so different. Okay, right? so you ready? What do you got? Top notes: star anise. Yes. Now, uh, now. For those of you like me that are not giant black licorice fans, get that out of your head. This does. This is not that kind. If of If I really dig, I can, 
I can't. Yeah, just a little. But again, it's like the it's more of like the black li- licorice, like coffee drops or something. Oh yeah, it's a much kinder. It's if you not, don't like black licorice, don't not worry. Not straight this up is black, not licorice. black licorice. And then what else have we got going on? Here? Rosemary. Yeah. And bergamot. Woo! And those are the things that grab you right off the top, y'all. But okay. it's so real. It's, yeah. It's like you have the rosemary fresh bush. You have the <sighs> bergamot. You know, like it's it's alive. It's not like a dried thing. I want a rosemary fresh bush. <laughs> Middle notes. Lavender, geranium, clove, wow. and coumarin. This gets deeper every whiff I take. This is the deep whiff. Right? And it's funny because it's um, it's stuff that we've smelled before, but not together. I, and that does yes. make it. Yes, it right. It does make it a barbershop just by putting those in there. I can see that, but it's a different twist. Yeah, they they weren't going for like the barber chair and the talc brush right, and the, the medicine with the stuff. combs, yo. Mm-hmm. No, that's not this kind of barbershop. This no, is, Floyd's is a special barbershop. Uh, and special. then base notes, we got patchouli, oh. oak moss. I do get a little of that yeah. oakiness. Uh, vetiver and guayac. Guayac. We've seen this once before. We have guayac wood. wood? This is different. This is sophisticated. That's a good word. This might be one of the most sophisticated we've had so far. It's, um, I think I get a little bit more smelling from the splash, of course. Yeah. But you can see how they're intertwined. They're Absolutely. definitely Absolutely. very connected. And I've got a little bit more, just a tiny more hint of a sweet, but it is not done with anything sweet no. that you're really familiar with. I mean, maybe just the lavender and the, like those certain kind oh. of rosemary, Vermont. there's some stuff, you can find a sweet yeah. side to those, but they're not necessarily sweet. I'm just grabbing like a rocky, resinous, almost ambery yeah. kind of. Smell with this. It's earthy. It's woody. It's beautiful. It's and not the. There's something with knowing it's a black and white TV show that I really oh, get. That is a really interesting point. Could this be sort of a black and white? You know, like set. if it really is Star Anis, that is kind of black. And oh, like, right. you know, the different parts of it, right. I do kind of get that very clean right. black and white. Because sometimes black and white movies or TV shows are better than the color versions right. because of the subject matter, because how they're doing it, and because the contrast of the black and white likes to pull against itself. Right. The black pulls against the mm-hmm. white. That's, That's what's what I'm getting. In this. Yeah. Wow, y'all. This oh is gosh. just Okay, wonderful. so now that we've thought of that, do we try and go a little deeper? A little deeper. A little deeper. A little deeper. And you know, in all of this, the first word I'm getting is clean. Yes. But Beautiful. that's why the black and white, we'll see. That's why the black and white is a clean thing. Oh, true. You know, right. like because the blacks make the white seem so much No whiter. coffee stains on your shirt in black and white, folks, right? Mm-hmm. You kind of get off yeah. easy. Yeah. And there's something about the shows that they take that are black and white and they try to add color. It's cool to see the color, but it does just not fit the show as much. Because it's about the contrast and it's about the areas in between, the white and the black. And that's what this is right? doing. Right. Like if How I think inspired. of any Andy Griffith anything, right. it's black and white. Because there's another Andy Griffith up they have and it's called pink floyd it's based on the same floyd character but it's pink right this is the black and white one and i it is it's that gorgeous feel of the contrast between the sweet and the dry between the dark and the bright and wow but it it, and what's between that contrast is like the middle notes that are in there that's more the barbershoppy and then you have the top and bottom that just add that little extra character right so not like a barbershop that's like you know an actual barbershop but when a very nice stately andy griffith type Mm -hmm. sheriff character walks out of the barbershop This is what he smells like. Right? It does. It feels like a fun little time warp. Like, yep. I have a bullet in my pocket. Can I just say that? I have a bullet in my shirt pocket when I smell this. <laughs> yeah, you're on duty, but you stop to get all spruced up. I love, I, 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 I have been very vocal about this. I love the stronger scent intensities, but I think that's a newbie thing. I was yes. talking to Thirsty about this this morning. I think once you get a little more into the game and once mm-hmm. you've smelled your 50th soap, I think there are things about the subtleties where there is just such beauty and depth. Mm-hmm. So while we do have like the lovely pumpkin spices that just hit you with a big old pumpkin pie Bunch in the face, stuff, yeah. and it's awesome. I love that there are some that take you on a journey that you start at the edge of somewhere and you mm-hmm. gotta go into the forest and look around and that's this one it, this it has, has it has things that are familiar find. right but those different things are like wait 
Hold on. Uh, and it doesn't just give you the one color. You got to go in and search for them. You got to so put them together if, yourself. If you didn't know that this was connected to the Floyd's Barbershop oh. and all the theme, and you took a whiff, is there a certain person that comes to mind? Or does it just Ooh. steer you back to that, like... Yeah, you know. Is it 50s? What What's their, their years? There are some scents that are warmer and more comforting in that way, the tobaccos right. or the cinnamons. Mm-hmm. And then there are some that I do picture a doctor, a lawyer, a right. sheriff. A clean cut. Somebody that's getting ready to do business today that has to have a bit of authority. Because mm-hmm. I feel like when you're wearing cinnamon, all authority is gone. <laughs> you're way more chill. Yep, <laughs> you're, you're done. You can't order anybody around if you're reeking of a pumpkin pot. But <laughs> if this is what you're wearing, right? this has that beautiful edge of like... I am well put together, I'm well mm-hmm. established, and you would do better to listen to me. Well, and it's funny, like, even though both of my grandparents were, like, totally different careers, they both wore the shirts that buttoned up, and they had the pocket with the pen, right. the paper, the wallet, everything right. had a place. Like, I feel like it totally depends Had a that. wallet for their keys. You know? <laughs> you remember those? The wallet for your keys? Yep. I definitely played That's with those. That's this. That's mm-hmm. this guy. Yeah. And I, it does. It harkens back to a time that was better. That was nicer. That I mean, I, right? It is it, the simple times that they mention in the description. Right. And what's funny is even when you watch Archie Bunker, which I'm sure there's a little bit of a correlation there, <laughs> but they that was a show from the 70s talking about the good old days. Mm. And we talk about the 70s like they're the good old days. Crazy. So I think maybe the good old days were just whenever you were a teenager, whenever <laughs> you were 20. That carefree. But yeah. no matter how old you are, mm-hmm. this takes you back to that good old days feeling. It does. And you do feel the simple small town vibes. They're carefree. You just yep. have your things to yep. worry about. And it's this not... is 80% a Marcus clean smell, but it does yes. have that extra edge of something interesting where you're it like, does. wait, who smells what? like that? Yeah. Wait, sir, sir. Yeah. Oh, I love I want to know this. your story, you know? Yeah. What else do you think? I do. You know, we did the lather with Dork, but yes. it was a dark color. So it is kind right. of fun to have that bright, yogurty fluff going on right. with this. And we do not talk about lather. But, but y'all. you know, I think we have to make an exception because this is just. I feel like if you were in a barber chair, this is the exact color of lather that you're yeah. supposed to have on your face. Right. <laughs> I feel like now we have to do a dive and find the episode Let's that has Floyd. Let's search for the Floyd Barbershop yeah. episodes and we'll watch one tonight after we put the splash I'm so down. Right. <laughs> and if you want to do the same, just go to IMDB and type in Andy Griffith, Floyd's Barbershop, <laughs> see what comes it. up in the summaries, and then just go over to Apple TV and get That's your right. own. <laughs> So head over to dentonmagiquesoaps.company.site where you'll find this and a bunch of other stuff I want. Well, I've had my shave. And it was a fabulous shave. Yo, yo, uh, I know this is a smaller size, but did you have to make it concentrate? That was awesome. It's a super dense soap. I needed half of what I thought. I would need for this shave and it's a lovely scent it stayed on my face in a nice way maybe a 2.5 scent intensity to longevity it's a nice frothy slick feel i had fun with my razor and i look forward to my next one from denton <laughs> Welcome to Messages. We have a surprising amount of people that are subscribed to our YouTube page. We are on the cusp of 250 subscribers, y'all. And Rod and Mandy reached out from Sterling and they said, hey, if you'd like to give a giveaway, we'd like to help. Yeah. I'm not going to say no to a Sterling soap, so we're going to have a giveaway for y'all. All All you have to do is be one of our subscribers, and we will roll a die, and we will pick one of you on an upcoming episode. And when we hit 250 subscribers, we will send out to our lucky winner Mm -hmm. one five-point ounce Sterling shaving soap of your choice. Compliments. Of the Sterling and Barbershop to what? So I grew up in the theater. And I grew up, well, I probably As you can tell, yeah. Yeah. And uh, my mom and dad were pretty amazing. They would always take me an hour to rehearsal every single night in the car and come get me an hour later. And when the show hit, my mom and dad would very often be on the stage crew or the lighting crew or, you know, just be there at the theater with me. Mm -hmm. So my dad surprised me. I got this in the mail. This is a Sweeney Todd barbershop shirt. So if those of you who are not in the know, Sweeney Todd is a (laughs) a very famous Broadway show about a murderous barber. And so this is the shirt. very fitting for 
for the barbershop. For the barbershop. So thank you, mom and dad. This yes, was a very sweet, sweet surprise. And, and it was perfect that we had a barbershop coming up so we could use well, the barbershop. Word, although I don't think Floyd and Sweeney have much in common. But That's okay. you, in you your world, they do. In my world, absolutely. Old time TV they're, shows they're and theater. And yeah, for sure. Out. So <laughs> thanks, mom and dad. And finally, we just want to send out a second thank yes, you to Denton Machine for sending us a free soap and splash to review. That was so very kind, and we are so very grateful. We love it. It's going to have a wonderful place in our Dance. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop duet. You'll smell better just watching this. Hey.